What is happening my friends? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some amazing houses. Three amazing houses to be perfectly precise. And just look at this first house. Mmm. 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 It's so pretty. It's a mansion. Ah, oh, man. Wouldn't you love to have a house like this? I know I would. It's got itself a car. It's got itself a tree. It's got itself a door with windows. Uh, um, uh, um, oops. All right. Uh, don't worry about that. Look at the inside of this place. It's just gorgeous. Guess we've got guest rooms. Look at this. Nice bed. Nice bed. Can't go to sleep because it's daytime. TVs, lights. What room is this? Garden room. We've got ourselves a garden room and the house, like literally one of the best houses I've ever seen. We also have a living room here. Let's check out the living room. I think it looks nice. What is that? They've got little throw pillows. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I've never, th are those like uh, banners or something? Or is it like a texture pack? I don't know. That is just cool. I never, I've never thought of making throw pillars, throw pillars, throw pillows out of banners. That's a, just a good idea. Nice long black TV. Got ourselves some what I assume to be speakers. Nice enchanting table. Always a must have in your Minecraft house. In our next room, we got the boy room. Look at this. Look at this. It's got itself some blue statues next to the doors. I would love to have some blue statues next to my door. That would be amazing. And out the back there, out that window there, it looked like a pool. Let's go see if we can find that. How do we get out there? What is this one? Girls room. Okay, well, we'll just go in the girls room, I guess. How do we get out there? All right, whatever. We'll get out there in a minute. I don't know how to get out there. The girls room looks basically the same as the boys room. Just got some different toys. Nice pink and black ender dragon head. Very nice, very nice. Got ourselves the office. Are these Mojang colors? Orange and white? I think these are the colors of Mojang. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Nice chair. Again, I love the use of these banners. I just think it's so cool. I've never thought of using banners like that. Again, we've got some nice little filing cabinets, I assume is what those are. Nice computer. Bookshelves everywhere. A must-have in all of your, um, offices. Got some, uh, a pool table in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's, hmm, not sure if you're supposed to have a pool table in your, uh, in your office. That, I mean, if I had a pool table in my office, I would just play pool all day long. I don't know about you. Workshop. Nice little workshop here. What is this, a car? Yo, you can even sit in the car. Can't see where you're going, but at least you can see beside you. Because that's really all that matters. You just need to see out your side window so that you can order when you go to McDonald's. Hashtag this video is not sponsored. Call me McDonald's. The rest of this workshop looks really fun. I really like this. I just like the way they put these blocks together in this house. It looks very nice. Like, just the, even the little touches, like putting wood just beneath your anvil, as opposed to just another piece of stone brick, is very nice. Very nice. I like it a lot. Out here you can see we have our car that we already looked at. Nice little tail lights, but we're gonna fly out back real fast to go take a look at this pool. Yes, look at this nice pool. The inside of the pool is made out of lapis and it also has lights. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. That's just, that is cool right there. But we're going to go take a look at the inside here. I'm just going to fly up here onto this beautiful, beautiful porch made with sea lanterns, pillars, and of course the gate, the gates. They're not gates. The, um, trap doors that everybody loves. Nice lounge chairs, beautiful red carpet. I love red and white. I mean, those are my channel colors. I love red and white. Also, we've got ourselves a gym. Very nice. With like two equipments in it and then a mat for yoga. In the next room here, we've got a, a guest toilet. Very nice. This is a huge guest toilet room. My word. The guest toilet room in my house is like like this little corner right here. That's it. And then this house, we've got ourselves a bath that works. We've got ourselves a toilet, always nice to have. And of course, a, what I assume to be sink, although it's kind of an interesting sink. We've got ourselves a shower, always a must in any house. I can't imagine there being a house without a shower. Shower, oh, excuse me. 
We've got what looks to be a library here. I like the three wide um, style here. I mean, a lot of people just do either one block or at the most two blocks, but these people are going big with their three block wide aisles with wood in the middle for a nice frame. Very nice. Brown carpet on top. Also very nice. I feel like I should just name this map review series very nice because that's like all I say. We've got what seems to be a dining room slash kitchen. Let me read the sign. Yep, kitchen, but also a dining room. Look at this. This is beautiful. I might even take this over into my, uh, my Minecraft Let's Play world, this design, because I really, really like it. It's really cool with the, um, with the vent, the ventilation on top, all of the cabinets. We've got our, do we have a fridge? Of course we have a fridge. What kind of question is that? Fridge right there. But, as cool as this is, we've got to get moving on to the next room, because we have to get to the next map as quickly as possible. Another toilet. It's not a guest toilet, but it's built pretty much the same. And then, of course, this door right here is the door we came in. And overall, I would rate this house, a, a, pfft, I don't know, probably a 9 out of 10. Maybe an 8 out of 10, just because it's a super flat world and the surroundings aren't that nice. Here we are, everybody, in the second world. And this is right where we spawned. This thing is looking absolutely legit. I think we're in a boat right now, actually. So we're just gonna pop right down here. Got a chest, nothing in the chests, which is understandable. Uh, we've got ourselves some beds. This is definitely a boat. How do I get off? Oh, probably right through here. <laughs> Very nice texture doors. I like the stock texture pack that the person included. And look at this. We're right inside like a tropical kind of uh, area here. A nice forest. We've got <coughs> some palm trees. The texture pack that the person made to go with this house is very nice indeed. Got ourselves some custom stone, and it leads right up to the entrance of this beautiful house. With It even has its own, like, security cameras. So we're gonna hop right in, and it's very dark. I might have to take the texture, the, uh, the shaders off of this house, but I think it'll be fine. Look at this on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. Custom chairs, custom stools. All amazing. We've got granite countertops and a beautiful floor in this house. I definitely am thinking that this house is way better than the last one. A nice indoor palm tree, very thin trunk. If you go upstairs here, you'll see we have a nice balcony, always a wonderful add-on to any house. A nice security camera because this guy is apparently paranoid that someone will come in and steal all his stuff. We've got some guest rooms, some bathrooms. Uh, a shower? Is it working? No, it's not a working shower. So they don't have working appliances, but they do have the custom textures, which I like a lot more than the working appliances, personally. I just think it's cool. We've got ourselves some wonderful hats. Mojang, if you're watching this, please add shelving to, your, to Minecraft and cabinets. Like, that would just be amazing. We have a nice undulating... Uh, <laughs> a nice undulating stool because of the shaders. It's probably like a retextured leaf or something. Pretty much just bedrooms up here on the top floor. We want to get looking around to more places. Look at this trophy case. Oh, that's so cool. They've got a trophy case with little miniature armor stands. Like, oh my gosh, that's just amazing. Moving on back upstairs, you can see we have a nice little area here. Looks kind of like a closet, swimsuit and towels, etc. So this is swimsuits and towels. Again, I absolutely love the custom textures. Please, Mojang, add these kind of this kind of furniture to Minecraft, please. Like this little shell, the little railing here that you can hang your shirts on. Then there's a little place up here that looks like. Oh. Oh. Oh, I had no idea what was up here. Look at that. It's a light. With retexture, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love the textures in this. Absolutely top notch. We have a nice above ground swimming pool with a glass floor, which is, I, I'm just a sucker for glass floor swimming pools. A nice um, hot tub with a little bit of a light down here too. Also very nice. And of course, I love it. 
the surroundings. We have ourselves an ocean with islands everywhere. It's perfect. Just what I like to see in a map like this. So all in all on this map, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have to rate this an 8 out of 10 too. I mean, I really like it. It's a really nice house, really great build. I loved the internal decoration and the functional furniture, and the surrounding area is beautiful, but I'm not a big fan of these kinds of modern homes. I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong. I really, really like modern homes like this, but I definitely like wooden houses next, which you're gonna see right in our next map. But here we are on World 3, and as you can see, this is where I spawned, and just look at it, alright? I definitely, this is definitely starting to look like the best map we've looked at, at least in my opinion. They have the nice little dirt path, they have the nice lake with the house in the middle of the island. Definitely a custom world with these cliffs around it, and I absolutely love this kind of setting. I'm a sucker for ki these kinds of maps, too like wood wooden houses in the middle of like a forested kind of ranch area i absolutely love houses like this even in real life but we're gonna rock blah blah blah, blah. we're gonna walk right up to the stellar doesn't look like that's an actual working garage door so we're just gonna head right on inside again very dark because of the shaders probably gonna turn those off maybe we'll see it looks like we have ourselves a little utility closet on this side to guest house. We're gonna go check that out after we check out this house. We've got ourselves the garage. Again, nothing in the chests, which makes sense because why spend your time filling up these chests? Whoa, that's very dark. I'm gonna turn the shaders off just real quick so I can see a little bit better in this room. And it looks like there's not actually anything to see. This house is mostly unfurnished, it looks like. Got ourselves a bedroom, custom beds, not real beds. I like real beds more, personally, that's just my taste. Some people like these custom beds a bit more. One cool add-on for Minecraft would be to designate something like that as a bed. If you absolutely using commands. Like being able to set one of those able to be slept in, right? Using commands, I think that would be cool. We got ourselves a really large dining room, which I like. And uh, everything looks better with shaders, I don't have the shaders on right now because it was very dark in this other room right here. We're gonna head right on over to these other rooms, just check out the surrounding areas. No custom texture packs, which is alright, it's perfectly fine. We've got ourselves a nice little kitchen with a direct exit onto the back patio. Now believe it or not, I think some, I think some people might think that's weird to have a, an exit to the patio through the kitchen. I think it's cool because then you can come right out here at lounge with your sandwich you just made. Uh, I need to go make myself a sandwich because now I'm getting hungry. We've got what looks to be an office or at least like a, some kind of a lounge. Uh, looks like you can go sit down here and have your face about six inches away from the TV if you want. You also have- this is really cool. That looks like a lamp. I think anyway. Does this do anything? It turns on the lights. Fantastic. Okay, is there any secrets through these? Oh heck there is. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. There is a secret room with treasures of untold fortune inside this painting right here. What about this one? Is that the only one? That's the only one it looks like. I mean, I could go and check all these, I guess. Nope, that is the only painting right there. We're gonna head upstairs, check out up here, and I'm gonna turn the shaders back on because there's a lot of windows. Look at that, everybody. It's just so much better with shaders. Look at this. Nice little spare bedroom with a closet, it looks like. Got ourselves a nice little room there with a table. We can go upstairs another story. We're just gonna fly through here. Look at this. Beautiful library. Definitely my favorite library so far. We head upstairs and we've got ourselves a nice little bathroom here. There's more stairs. Go even further up, everybody. Nice hallway here. Definitely shaping up to be my favorite house yet. Even though it doesn't have custom textures, even though it doesn't have functional furniture, I really, really like this. Just the layout of the house alone is something I really like, you know? Now we can actually see outside. We've got ourselves a huge bed. Look at this thing. Absolutely love it. With a nice TV that looks like it's turned on. Beautiful, beautiful balcony. Now again, guys, I'm suckers for houses made out of wood that are this big and have long hallways. I love hallways in a Minecraft house. I love wooden Minecraft houses. And I just think this thing is absolutely gorgeous and thumbnail worthy. 
But we're not done with this house yet. We have to go and check out the guest house because not only does this house have guest rooms, it has a guest house. Like my guy. You go down here. This hallway could use a little bit more decoration, in my opinion. But we're gonna head right out here to the guest house. And look at this. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm a sucker for these wooden houses. I do, you know what? I'm not a fan of this kind of wood. Which one is this? Andesite? I'm not a fan of andesite. But I do like it in this use. I'm not sure what it is. I really like it in that room. You can see over here we've got ourselves a small little kitchen and, of course, a nice little table. No chairs, though. That's going to take points off. And we've got ourselves a nice little spare bedroom. Up here we have ourselves a nice little, looks like, table room. No lighting. Again, that takes points off. And another huge bed. I like this bedroom a lot more than I like the king bedroom in that house. But I, overall, I think I like that house better than this one. Just break ourselves out the window here, and we're gonna go take a look at that lake house. It's not a big house, it has some nice little rafters up there, and it's got itself a tiny little bed with a with a chest and some bookcases. Not really all that fancy. Down here, of course, we have ourselves the bathroom and the small kitchen with a small dining room. It's not a real fancy house, just a nice little quaint cottage, and I think it looks really nice. Guys, I'm gonna have to rate this house a 9 out of 10, just because I, I'm, <laughs> I am biased towards these kinds of houses with long hallways and made out of wood, with the white glass, and of course the lake on the cliff sides with the forest. Ugh, oh, I absolutely love the surrounding area. It's just beautiful, definitely my favorite house we've looked at, we've looked at today. None of the houses we looked at today are bad. But this is definitely my favorite. But guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you do like this kind of video, then please go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, slap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos because I think you might like this channel if you like this kind of video. I hope you guys have a fantastic, safe rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.